This is our fourth video on logic with Venn diagrams, and I wanted to discuss a type of Venn diagram I've seen more than a few times over the years. So this will be turned in. Some problem has men and women in the problem, and this will be part of an illogical analysis. So I'll get a, a student's Venn diagram has men and women with two circles like this. Now, it might be easy to say, okay, this is just wrong, because we generally think of just men and women. However, looking into this matter a little bit further, this intersection here would be considered what is today called intersex, or before it used to be called hermaphrodites. I'm not sure this is what students are intending when they turn in this Venn diagram. However, it is worth discussing. This group here would have characteristics of both. And we'd have to be very careful in our definitions. Are we just talking about biology? Or are we talking about how people identify themselves? So the, the question would require a very de uh, careful definition of our terms. But from the reading I'm getting, and admittedly, this is a hard subject to research, so by all means, feel free to use Google or whatever you want and try and find better resources than mine. Uh, but on Wikipedia and a few other resources, I'm finding that between 1 in 1,000 and 1 in 2,000 babies have characteristics of both enough to require surgery shortly after birth. So that means this does actually exist. It would be very tempting to say, no, these two can't exist. But I'm not really sure what would go out here. If I put a mark out here, this would be a person that's in our world of people that has no biology of male or female. And I can't find any research that that exists at all. So we might seriously be looking at 0% out here, but I don't know. I do not know that this is what students really mean when they draw this, because generally the problem is simple, like all men vote for this and all women do the other, and you know, we, we're using some logic. But I did want to address this. <clears throat> it's not really correct for me to call that an incorrect Venn diagram unless we talk about all the possibilities. So this would be distinctly man who is not a woman. This would be a woman who's not a man. This would have biological components of both, and this would have no biology of either one, men or woman, if we we're speaking specifically of biology. So obviously this subject could uh, go on for days into all kinds of other areas, but I did want to mention the, the Venn diagram. If you intersect men and women, you must be talking about an intersection that has both biological components or whatever else you're defining as man and woman in that particular problem. Hope you've enjoyed this wide-ranging discussion of other things that come up with a Venn diagram.